We have two circles and one square, and we need to work out the area of the square using the radius of the circles. If you want to try this on your own, pause the video, because we're about to begin. The first thing we're going to do is draw a line from the midpoint of the circle to where it touches the square, and call it 10 meters because it's a radius. And we can draw another radial line directly down from the center point, and we know that that is also 10 meters long. And we're going to draw a third line too, from where the circle meets the square to where it meets the radial line. And we know that these two lines are perpendicular, so we can label it with a right angle. We know that the height of the square is x, and because the green line is parallel to the top of the square, we can label this distance x. And by knowing that this distance is x, we can deduce that the rest of the line is equal to 10 minus x. And at the moment, we don't know the length of the green line, so we're just going to label it y. So now that we have values for all three sides of our right-angled triangle, we can use Pythagoras' theorem, where a squared equals y squared, b squared equals 10 minus x squared, and c squared equals 10 squared. And our equation reads, y squared plus 10 minus x squared equals 10 squared. And when we multiply out our brackets 10 minus x times 10 minus x, we get x squared minus 10x minus 10x plus 100. And putting that back into our equation, we have y squared plus x squared minus 20x plus 100 equals 100. We can immediately subtract 100 from both sides and rearrange to find that y squared equals 20x minus x squared, meaning y is equal to the square root of 20x minus x squared. So now that we have a value for y in terms of x, we can add some more lines to our diagram to create another equation. If we draw another y line in the opposite direction on the other corner of the square, we can see that y plus x plus y equals 10 plus 10. We can simplify our expression and substitute in the value for y that we just found. Our equation in terms of x now reads 2 times the square root of 20x minus x squared plus x equals 20. We can then subtract x from both sides and divide by 2. Now when we square both sides, we end up with 20x minus x squared equals x squared minus 40 plus 400 all divided by 4. We can then multiply both sides by 4 to give us 80x minus 4x squared equals x squared minus 40x plus 400. We now need to add 4x squared to both sides, subtract 80x, and divide by 5 to find our new quadratic equation x squared minus 24x plus 80 equals 0. To solve this, we're going to use the quadratic equation, where our x squared term is 1, our x term is minus 24, and our constant is 80. So when we plug the numbers in, we have minus minus 24 plus or minus the square root of minus 24 squared minus 4 times 1 times 80 all over 2 times 1. Working through, we find that x equals 12 plus or minus 8, meaning that x equals 20 or x equals 4. We know that x cannot be larger than our radius of 10, so x equals 4 is our result. And to find the area of our square, we simply need to square x, giving us 16 meters squared. 